Strategic business research is key to the development of any sector or region. And I've come along to the Knowledge Hub at this year's GIBTN to tap into a study on the travel and meeting sector in the Gulf. Rob Nicholas, uh, you presented some interesting research today in the Knowledge Hub at this year's GIBTM. Could you talk us through the key results? Sure. Um, I mean, it was great that overwhelmingly positive, uh, generally, which we were very pleased about. Obviously, interregional business performing particularly well. Um, I was describing the fact that it's been a bit of a perfect storm in terms of the region over the last couple of years because the Gulf countries in particular have benefited from the wider Middle Eastern situation. So political instability in certain countries has meant a rise in business in others. Uh, and a lot of the Gulf countries are really seen as a safe haven. So we've really seen those figures looking much more positive for the Gulf, perhaps more so than for the rest of the world. So I think that was the presiding um, type of theme for the research. Uh, but generally in terms of the volume of events for the forthcoming year, in terms of budgets, in terms of average spend on events per annum, all of those figures uh, were looking very positive. Um, so, yeah, we were very pleased. It's quite interesting, isn't it? Because, uh, you know, the slight uh, a whiff of, um, of, of slight economic turmoil within the Gulf and everybody, you know, rode off, rode off Dubai and whatever. And, of course, it's been very resilient. And, as you say, it's now back on the up. I mean, what do you think are the, are the sort of key drivers behind that? Um, well, basically, you know, we've had a massive boom in terms of infrastructure. Uh, there's a trillion dollars of uh, development that's happening within the Middle East in terms of infrastructure. They can't just close shop and, and go home. Um, those types of developments are bringing in people. I mean, last year we saw Dubai had one of the highest occupancies in the world, 78%, very good room rates. Abu Dhabi also showing some good signs of growth despite having a huge increase in terms of room stock. You know, they are still doing very well. We've just had the launch of convention bureaus. We've got the launch of new meetings facilities across the region. So all of those types of things are really driving business. And the Middle East is really the gateway between Asia and Europe. Clearly, business is moving eastwards. And we are seeing that reflected in terms of the positive sentiment that's coming from throughout the industry. Do you think also that the region's starting to really capitalise on the interest it's gaining from meetings and incentives? For example, as you say, the uh, Abu Dhabi opened its convention bureau recently. Do you think they're really starting to get a bit smarter actually tapping into that too? Yeah, absolutely, both on an international scale and also in terms of regional business. You've had a huge growth again in terms of the corporates that are being based within this region. So they need to meet, they need to exchange ideas, they need to go and bring people in from other types of destinations to come and, and meet and discuss. And at the same time, Obviously, you've got the growth then of internationals that are coming in. Um, there are some per pertinent types of subjects relating to pharmaceutical, relating to medical, because obviously associations are driving in, not just because this is a great place to meet, but because there's an actual need to impart knowledge. Things like the International Diabetes Congress that was hosted in Dubai or the World Ophthalmology Congress that was hosted in Abu Dhabi, they're coming here for very real reasons.